Hello, Gold here. And today we're going to look at running through an event without firing a shot until the very end when we have to. But we're going to run through the Enclave event. But I wanted to showcase a build that I'm putting together, and it is the, it's what I call a tanky stealth commando build. I focus on the commando tactics with this build, sneak attacks, vats attacks, and maximum health. So I can maintain that tankiness while I keep these stealth capabilities. And it's working out pretty well so far. I'm able to sneak through most, uh, most environments, um, not all of them. You know, you can't get through everywhere without firing a shot. And that would actually take the fun out of the game. But it is nice sometimes to be able to come in and take out your enemies and just get the job done. And this event's just going to show us that with the right type of build, we can literally go through, accomplish our task without taking any damage whatsoever. And this can be a good build for newer players who are just getting into the game, um, have low level characters, because by gearing your character towards stealth capabilities and the commando capabilities using, you know, combat rifle or in my case, fixers, then this is going to give you the ability to take less damage because you'll be using a little more ranged attacks. And as opposed to a heavy gunner build, you need to have a tanky build to pull that off really well in larger events because when you're firing that heavy gun, you're going to be taking a lot of damage unless you have perks that will offset that or weapons or armor that will offset that. But I think this is a good build for, uh, like I said, newer players or lower level characters, I should say. And it's a build I'm going to incorporate on another character that I have too. But for this one, it works out pretty well for most of the events that I go to. So let's check it out. We're going to go down here. We're going to go to the Enclave event, a real blast. And this is down in Welch. I've run this event a lot, and I think most people have. If you've done the Enclave storyline, then you've run this event. But I just want to use it because it happens to be the first one that popped up when I'm making this video today. And we're going to see if we can just sneak through here without firing a shot. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Check my weapons. And by using the fixer, you also have improved stealth capabilities also. You know, that's built into that, that weapon itself. Um, that's one of the things that makes the fixer so special. I mean, it doesn't compare to a two-shot explosive Gatlin gun. You're not going to PvP against somebody with that and, and, you know, beat them with this gun. But with this gun right here, I can beat the Scorch Beast Queen and Earl Williams myself. It's a pretty good weapon. Um, it's just not the ultimate PvP weapon. All right, and as we can see here. Here, we're going to get on around to this one. All right. All right. And back up here. Let's get this. And one of the things about your perks, you know, uh, with the sneak perk... It really helps you. It gives you 75% more more sneak ability. Um, makes you 75% harder to detect. And, and we're going to look at the perks here in a minute of the ones that I'm using right now. And I'm not even set up to the optimal capacity, I guess you would say. There's still a couple of other perks I need to add to it. But unfortunately, I traded most of my perk cards for perk coins to level up my legendaries here recently. But I'm really looking forward to Bethesda's new our new perk slots, I guess you would call it. I forget what they call it. But where you're able to set up your perks and just activate them when you need to. And that's going to be really handy because that's one of the time killers in the game is when you're going from crafting and scrapping to back to your stealth build or back to your commando build or back to your heavy gun build. you got to swap all your perks out every time. So having these perk slots is really going to help a lot. So far, nobody's seen me, and I'm sort of running around here a little bit. So the, these sneak perks, whoa. I bumped into him. He didn't even know I was there. So they work really well. And that's why I recommend this to players that are really, you know, up and coming in the game, uh, have lower level characters, because you can, you can actually complete a lot of events that you wouldn't be able to complete or would have it very difficult to complete without a sneak build. You burn through a lot of ammo, break a lot of armor, break a lot of weapons. But this gives you the ability to level up really fast especially in the lower levels. Higher levels, it takes a lot longer to level up, so you're going to want to kill the enemies. That's a big part of it. But lower level, you can sneak through a few of these and get basically some free XP. And here we see we're almost done. Oh, let's see if he sees me now. 
I'm hiding from him, still hidden, but there he is. How he doesn't see that, I don't know, but that's the advantage of those perks, I guess. Because I've run this event a lot, and to be on, and without the uh, sneak perks on, you know, I'm fighting them every time, which is really not that big of a deal, not for this event, but it does help out a lot. And there we go. So now I'm just going to get down here and basically have completed the event, almost completed the event, and have not fired a single shot. So I came in here with the same amount of ammo that I'm leaving with. So that works out pretty good. All right, let's wait on the fireworks show here. And there it goes. Now I will have to expend some ammunition. I'll have to go in here and take out the remaining enemies. But usually these types of events, there aren't many to take out afterwards, you know, anywhere between one and four is what I've seen. Some, maybe sometimes five. But in this case, we're going to see how many enemies are left to take out and how many shots it takes now. With the sneak builds, you get a lot of bonuses when you're in the crouch or sneak position like this and, and you're firing from ranged attack when I'm not just right up on them. You get a lot of good bonuses, and you can take out a lot of enemies. You can even one-shot a good deal of your enemies, at least with a weapon like this, an explosive fixer. All right. So now I just have to wipe out the remaining enemies. Up, oh, zero, two. Now it's one of two, so one of them must have died in the blast. So I just got to figure out where this other guy is and go get him. All right. I'm going to try and sneak up on him and get just a few shots in. Mole miners usually take a few shots, not a whole lot but a few so now I'm going to use the quad fixer this is a quad explosive with uh, damage resistance when I'm aiming first I'm going to look at how many bullets I have 1, 13,171 45 rounds that's what I'm using so let's see how many rounds of ammunition that I will have to expel in this event to finish this up I see my target is to my right and there he is Let's get on in here. And here we go. Could have took him out then. Let's get him now. Just fats him. And I even fired more shots than I needed there. And that completes the event. As you can see, I've only used eight bullets. And probably half of those I didn't need to fire. If I would have took that one shot at a time, just tap, 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 I probably would have got him in about three or four shots. So the sneak, the sneak build has its advantages. Um, you know, it's the kind of build you need to... You don't just go tearing through a nuke silo, but you take your time a little bit, and it, it's, a fun, it's a fun way to play sometimes. It's a change from the just heavy gun spray and pray type of uh, combat. Um, this is uh, an, effective, it's an effective build now. Here we're going to look at uh, one way to put a stealth build together, and it starts off with the weapon. I like the fixer because the fixer, by its own design or by the design of the weapon, has increased sneaking capabilities and also allows faster movement while sneaking. So it's an excellent choice. Also, armor choices. Uh, I have a few pieces of armor that in actually increase my sneaking ability also, make it 15% harder to detect and such. So these are the types of things I look out for to put this build together for when I'm putting this build together. But there are also different selections with food and also drinks and chems that will help us out. For example, some of the Scorch Beast food gives you a really high boost on agility, luck, and intelligence, and that'll help out in experience, but also in vats, too. Also, you, under the food, you have the Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola Quantums, that give you a boost in your AP, and this is very important for vats users because the quicker that AP will regenerate, then the more vat shots I can get off, and the more action points that I have, definitely gives us the ability for more critical shots and for more shots in general. So food selection is also important. Now if we look at our chems, there are certain chems, chems like Calmex and any chem that enhances, any chem that enhances like a sneak ability like Calmex specifically does. Also like berry, berry mintats which gives you better vats usage. So those type of chems can help out. Now when it comes to our perks, this, for this build, um, I am still missing a couple. I need to get the Mr. Sandman perk, but right now I need to make some changes before I do that. 
In my strength category, I just have a few perks that boost my damage resistance, but they also lower the weights of the items that I'm carrying, and this is quite beneficial. I'm not a melee build with this particular character, so I don't need the high strength that I would if I were a melee or heavy gunner build. Now for perception, this is a very important one to max out if you're going to have a commando type of build, and that's because this is where the commando perks are, and there are three of these. And all three of these, if they're maxed out at the level, will give you a bonus of 20% damage. And that adds up with your automatic rifles. Your ground pounder is excellent for hip fire action um, when you max that out. It also has a faster reload speed. The tank killer is great for armor penetration. It goes right along with the commando perks. And at the end here, I just have my basic little, and I have the refractor perk um, just to help me with energy damage. I do a lot of nuke runs, so I take a lot of shots from robots. This really helps a lot. In the endurance category, pretty much what I have here is what makes this build uh, somewhat tanky. And in this category, we'll see that I have the Life Giver perk, which gives me a higher overall health. And that's a perk that I pretty much started picking up from the near the beginning of the game, and I've kept on ever since. The Ironclad perk, which gives you more damage resistance when you're not wearing power armor, and this is very handy. The Adamantium Skeleton perk, uh, it completely eliminates limb damage, and this is an excellent perk to fireproof. It works really, really well um, at, at avoiding fire damage. Charisma, I don't have much use for Charisma with this type of build. The Lone Wanderer perk really does help out. Um, you know, Charisma helps with barter rates and things like that, but I'm more focused on getting my stealth down first. Intelligence is another category that I'm running a little low on here. I'm intelligence of six, as you can see, six special points. Although I do have intelligence boost from my mutation, so my intelligence is much higher than six. Yeah, and in the agility category, I like to keep my action boy perk for Vatch users. You know, this is an important perk. Um, I want to max this one out to three, but I have a couple other things, so I think I'm happy with it on two. The adrenaline gives you a huge boost in damage, and this is a, this is a really big modifier. It does work extremely well, especially with a rapid fire weapon like the Fixer. It, it works very well, and that damage stacks pretty pretty good. Gun food will automatically swap targets. When you're using VATS and you take out the first enemy, it will automatically VATS the next enemy and so forth. And this is extremely helpful when you're entering a room and you have enemies on multiple sides. Uh, you can swap back and forth almost automatically here, and it really does help you survive that situation. Covert Operative gives you the 2.5 times sneak damage on a sneak attack, a ranged sneak attack. Now, there's a melee version of this, too, which I don't have. Escape Artist works pretty good um, when, you're, when you've been detected. If you stand up and then you run a little bit and s sneak back down again, then you usually can't avoid detection. It works probably about half the time. This one works really well. It makes you 75% harder to detect while sneaking. Now in the luck category, I have the better criticals. Uh, for VATS users, this is an important one in luck. Mysterious Stranger is a perk I'm going to get rid of. I was testing out the difference between 1 and level 3 on this. And there is quite the difference, but I really haven't seen much of a benefit. Luck of the Jaw, though, does give me a good benefit. I use explosive weapons, so they, they easily break. Uh, every now and again, my weapon will basically repair itself with this perk. If you level that up to three, it happens quite a bit. Class Freak, I have to keep on. Starts genes, I need to keep on because if I accidentally take right away without that, then I'm going to lose my mutations. And then the last, Critical Savvy. And this is a good one too because with this one leveled all the way up, you're only using a part of your critical meter when you take the critical shots and vats. And it recharges really, really fast, especially, you know, and it'll recharge pretty fast after that. So uh, I hope the video helps out. Don't forget about the other perks. Remember your food and your drink is a very big benefit to your sneaking ability uh, when you add chems in with that because you can increase a lot of stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. And for now, Gold out.